Today I want to talk with you about the importance of silence. Many people associate silence with being alone or feeling lonely, while others look at, look at it as a time to spend with their thoughts, a time to reflect, or take a break. While both can be true, there is always a good in between. If used in the correct setting, silence, silence can offer deep benefits that many of us are not even aware of. Oftentimes our culture assigns self-worth with productivity. We always have to be doing. While productivity is very important, silence and solitude can be almost equally as important in shaping us into the person we have been made to be. Silence can be beneficial in many areas of, of your life, and the two I want to share with you today are from one, a health standpoint, and two, most importantly, from a biblical perspective. First, let's talk about silence associated with our health. When I say health, I'm talking about a very broad overview of it. For benefits helping with the overall well-being, it affects your rest, self-awareness, and healing. For a lot of us, rest may be the most important one. Above everything else, silence and solitude give you a break. Give you a break from noises, from notifications on your phone, from television, or from even the sounds of a city, like crowds or traffic. Find time to rest. Rest and silence can feel like a big exhale, which I know a lot of us need. When you're alone with yourself in silence, we can learn about ourselves and grow in our self-awareness. When we are not conformed to who we have to be in society, we can really understand our true self. The more we learn about ourselves, the more comfortable we will become with who we are made to be. Silence is also a gift of time. When we go through tragedy and trauma in our life, it takes time to heal. In the world we live in today, is it, um, is, it is almost impossible to find time to cope and heal from tragedy we have gone through. Silence gives us perfect opportunity to heal, which is very important when we go through something hard in our life. From a physical health perspective, it can help in many ways. It lowers our blood pressure, boosts the body's immune system, and also pos positively affects the brain. In 2006, a 2006 study in heart said that two minutes of silence relieves tensions in the body and brain and is more relaxing than music. This is caused by blood pressure and blood circulation in the brain. Now let's look at what scripture tells us about silence and solitude. A lot of what the Bible says ties into how silence helps with our well-being. First, obedience. We cannot obey what the Lord has called us to do if we are not silent and listen. Psalm 62, 5 says, For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. And Exodus 14, 14 says, The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. Also, listening. Silence not, also, not, silence not only helps with obedience, but it also helps by us being a blessing to others, by being quick to listen and slow to speak. James 1, 19 says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to become angry. We live in a busy world. Everything moves fast. Our lives are filled with noise, screens, relationships, tragedy, and countless other things. While some of those aren't necessarily negative, we have to find the balance. And that's why I want to encourage you. That's what I want to encourage with you today. God has called us into obedience. Part of that obedience is taking care of our well-being. And silence, silence helps with just that. Obedience also means to be a blessing to others. When we are silent, we can be good listeners, like Christ has called us to be. I want to encourage all of you to find time every day to be in solitude. Reflect on your day. Pray. Ask God how you can listen to better serve others. I know finding time might be hard and scary for many of us, but I promise you, it will be doing yourself a great blessing. Thank you for listening.